Hello all, Gerald here. Uh, just doing another review on some of my uh, guitars that I recently picked up. I'm always glad, I don't care what people think, but I'm always glad to get one of these cheap guitars in my collection. For two reasons. Number one, so I can play it here. And number two, because it looks good. And actually a third reason is because I'm a guitar collector. And I've always liked these style type guitars. Um, but not every one of these guitars like this are cheap. I mean, there's some that's really good sounding guitars. Uh, would I recommend you play this guitar 24-7? Uh, not if you have another guitar. I mean, if you've got another guitar, you play it. Um, but the strings, I look at the strings. Uh, the strings that come on these guitars are crap. Uh, if you want a real string, you need to put some Gibsons on here for, for starters because you'll have that nice twang, you'll have that more uh, better sound. I mean, a lot of people over the years have said about, about your pickups. And, I, and listen, ladies, and uh, the pickups in this thing, well, let's see, you got your humbucker, two singles, a five way, just like your regular strats. Just, this is a strat. <laughs> you have to excuse the lighting because I live in a cage, okay? A ca uh, cave volume the bridge is adjustable which is what i hate the octaves i love the octaves the back of the guitar notice you got your nice uh back plate that goes great with the contrast to the sunburst color got the bolt-on neck is what i love see it right there oh yeah see it nice maple neck uh, i wish the fretboard was the same color as, as the back of the neck of the guitar because it just looks, it looks, excuse me, it looks better. Uh, the back of the key terminals, just your, st just your regular standard ones, you know, you know, they ain't nothing special about them. They're, they're smaller than, than uh, what I usually see on some. My uh, old, my uh, high school Strat is uh, pick up the, uh, these key terminals are a little bit bigger. These are, must be the new style, I guess. And this is made in China, so don't lick the wood, the paint. <laughs> uh, fretboard. Take a look at this. See? Real nice fretboard. Feels good to your hands. Um, there's the bullet strat right there. Check that out there, y'all. That's right, it's cheap. I picked this up for under 100 bucks, $94. Um, but I'm going to play this guitar in a, in a, in a short here, but couple things that I like to make mentioned here is if you're buying you one of these cheap guitars I mean what I consider you taking this out every Friday night no I mean I'd take it out probably once probably take this guitar out probably one time and see how it does and if it doesn't do work uh, but me personally would I take this out depends on where I was going like if I was going to a nursing home or just going to be playing uh, you know just public, you know, small places, uh, I'd probably take a guitar like this to, uh, for it, you know, because it would blend in pretty good, um, but would I take this to, like, a concert, oh, hell no, shoot no, that's why I'd want to take, uh, some of my, uh, other guitars, like my Austins, uh, my Twins, uh, and I've got a review of them on, the, on here, but, a couple things that uh, I look at is uh, when I'm buying a guitar is I make sure that I have a humbucker, okay? I mean, humbucker just gives you that straight sound. I mean... I mean, you got your... I mean, you got... Let me, uh, I'm, I'm up here in the first position. Uh, your two position is just your, uh, you all know, your, uh, your middle pickup. And your humbucker. Let me get that chord out from under my feet. Okay, 
I'm gonna put the strap on so y'all can see what I'm doing down here. Uh, but for the most part, this is uh, it's a pretty good sounding guitar, uh, and this is my review of it. Some of y'all may call me a a cheapskate. Well, that's all right. I'd rather be a cheapskate than a than get tarted. Uh, <laughs> that's right, folks. Uh, I like uh, I like these necks like this that that have the uh, it's like it's got the bolt on it that way if I want to do your you know like your third position let's go up to your neck position and this is your you know uh, I'm just showing off here. tune this thing. This thing doesn't stay in tune very well. Uh, I mean, considering all, I'd probably give this guitar uh, a C? No. I'd probably give it a B minus. For one, uh, it's got this. Number two, stupid knobs I like push the switches so if I want to turn each and every pick up on and off individually I, I have that choosing um, and split the humbucker um, strings Gibson strings uh, and if I was gonna soak a lot of money in it I'd get me some uh, EMG pickups uh, but you know just as far as just keeping it stocked that's pretty much what I would do uh, I wouldn't take this out and play it every night. Not not if you've got a couple of high dollar guitars. I mean, what's the point? I mean, this is this is a this is a house beater. This is your uh, house beater right here. I mean, this is this is something that you'd probably want to play around the house, and you might not like this review, or you might not. You might might not. But what I'm saying is, I'm a fan of guitars. I don't care what they look like or what kind they are, Bubba. I just love guitars. I mean, I'm a guitar freak. Guitar man, Jerry Reed. Don't forget it, because um, you live by that song. You live by if, if you if you're a musician and you love playing guitar, then having a then having as many guitars as you as you can is what it's all about. So that's my theory and my thought for today. <laughs> um, but again, like I said, this is just an old cheap old guitar, but. This one here, it sounds better than, than a lot of them. Like I said, I give this thing a B minus. Uh, here's your middle pickup. I'm just hidden I'm just here in the in my room practicing. Uh, uh, need to do that every day, folks. Keep up your image. <laughs> but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's just my view of the guitar. Uh, here's what your dual single. Here's what your two single coils sound like together. Distortion uh, might work good on that. Uh. Um, but that's pretty much your guitar. Thank you. 
But that's your that's what you get for ninety four dollars. <laughs> but anyway, y'all go out and get you one of these, hang it on the wall, or use it as a boat paddle. <laughs> But me, I'm just going to have it around here, and if I want to do some jamming by myself, I can pull out this old cheapie, and I can get down. Easy, easy street. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen, and see y'all next time for another review on, uh, you never know, never know what I'll interview, but that's it.